Well, welcome to part two of this video series. This is um, the second of a two-part series of two repairs that I've done to my Samsung CLP 300 color laser printer. Um, again, this is the second in this series. A link to the first video will be in the upper right-hand corner and will stay throughout the video if uh, anybody needs to review anything. This is the second repair. This one is a little bit more involved and we'll go into that in detail. This The thing with stuff that's broken in general is that um, if you think you can fix it, you know, you might as well try as the other option is to just throw the thing out. And in, in fact, this printer I got for free myself. Um, so, you know, if you think this repair is a little weird or a little whatever, it's something where if your option is really just to either try something or throw it away, you might as well just try something. Um, so with that, we'll uh, move on to the next part of this clip, which we might recognize from part one. The color toner transfer units have been removed. I've picked the black and the blue ones to swap parts from. The black is going to get used pretty extensively. The blue on my printer was pretty much not used at all. I have a regular size Phillips screwdriver and this is a much smaller Phillips screwdriver, much like a jeweler's screwdriver or something like that. Um, what we're going to be doing is taking the lids off of these toner transfer units like we did in the last video and then we're going to be pulling the um, affected parts out of the black and, and changing them with the blue. This should be okay and as you saw some of the test pages that I did earlier it you know, worked out alright. So this is the black toner transfer unit um, from the last clip. What we're going to be doing is there's there are caps on either end of this thing. This side is the side with the whole um, drivetrain and gears for the roller. This is the opposite side which we're going to be taking off. If you look here there are one, two, three small screws those screws need to come out and I think I've sped that one up to because uh, it's, you know, it's removing some screws alright so as you can see the end came off here this uh, um, the end comes off very easily and it, you know it should go on just as easily but we'll be visiting that in the future as you can see the roller starting to come out it's really just a, a gentle it it's just a gentle pull it's not actually attached to anything at this point and you can just sort of pull it straight out now what's going to happen is when that roller comes out there are some there are those two ceramic bearings and we're going to talk about those in a second the small gear there it is 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 no longer attached in there that gear is pinned in by the roller itself so we're going to need to put all that stuff aside and make sure we don't lose it I know I've put a pause in here as these little white rollers, there's one on either end of the roller shaft. I think these are a ceramic bearing and attached, uh, not, excuse me, it's not attached, but there's a metal washer um, on one side of those. And you might want to figure out, you know, what the orientation is when you reinstall that. Um, as, you know, those are important and they're small and they're, they're loose. They just need to be sort of set in. I also wanted to see a close-up of the other end of the roller which will show you a sort of a flat which is on the end of that shaft. That flat is going to engage into the gear when we reinstall all of this stuff later. So, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing with the blue cartridge and then we're going to uh, clean the toner off of these rollers because we're swapping them in to different units and we don't need black toner mixing in with blue and vice versa. So I'm, I blew that off with air. This is 91% uh, rubbing alcohol, and I'm just wiping it down a little bit. I'm just doing you know, really as 
as good a job as I can on it. There still might be a, you know, a very slight hue of blue on there. Um, you know, too bad. It's, it's going to get mostly covered up. So this is the cleaned black roller, or excuse me, the clean roller from the black unit, which we're about to install into the blue um, toner cartridge for this unit. This is really the magic part of the whole process is, you know, swapping the different rollers in. So as you can see, we're putting that ceramic bearing in. There's a little slot that that thing fits in. What I had in my hand right there is I'm going to call it the the top hat sleeve. That that socket's in um, right where the the roller shaft would push through, and then the, the gear you just hold that in place while you install the roller. That whole thing just kind of slides in. You want to rotate it a little bit to find the flat on your gear. Again, you don't need to force any of this stuff. If you're forcing, so you got something, something's wrong. Now, if you remember from the last video, um, the whole foam finger thing, which was designed to, you know, seal, to seal the inside of the unit to keep toner from coming out. Well, we need to move that foam finger to make sure that it's not pinched in there when the roller comes in onto it. And then once you do, it should just just pop right in. We're going to be doing a, a more close-up of the um, fitting, the refitting of the cap. Now, if you see what I've done here, the ceramic bearing is pushed right up against the roller. You want to bump it out a little bit, and you actually want to try and get a similar distance between this bearing, this ceramic bearing, and the roller and the inboard ceramic bearing in the roller. Um, you know, if, it's not very hard to get that spacing correct, but if you don't get it correct, this cap is just not gonna come on nicely. And you can see how easily it came on. If it doesn't come on easily, again, you've, you know, something is, something's not totally right. So this, I did not speed up putting these screws in here and what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you um, turning the screws backwards first and hearing a click for the threads and then advancing them in which helps you which is going to help you keep from destroying the thread so I cranked the volume and let's see what happens Well, I, yeah, I couldn't get a better uh, definition of the clicking on that, and I think you'll understand what I mean when you put that or any other plastic thing together that you don't want to mess up the threads on. That's a, a maybe a good skill to pick up in general. This is we're done. Um, you know, putting the putting the lid on here. We've did this in the in the last video again, which again is linked to in the upper right hand corner. Make sure that the fingers, the foam fingers, are out of the way. These are the Z plates. You know. And it's it's sped up, and this whole process is not too big of a deal at that point. So now I've slowed this down. This is the blue cartridge, and what I'm doing here is I'm rotating the drum by hand just to check to make sure that I've got good coverage over the length of the roller. I actually was pretty surprised how good the blue turned out, given the. Um, that I put the black drum in there and that black drum was a little messed up. So this is again the sped up version of the reassembly of the whole thing. It's you know the reverse of disassembly. Um, yeah everything just sort of sockets in there and we're gonna need to remember to put the spring in before we close that up and let's see there's the spring so we need to make sure to put the spring in and at this point make sure that the feet on the bottom are are properly socketed which you know we talked about in, in um, video one which again is linked in the corner and um, 
and here we are so you know I hope this was helpful for you and um, good luck